Can I actually save old batteries by desulfating them? Let's find out. So like most people with a bunch of projects sitting around, I also have a bunch of old batteries sitting around. So I wanted to find out if I could save a little bit of money, get a little bit more life out of some of these old batteries by reviving them, specifically using a desulfator. So this isn't a review channel, but I just bought a NOCO 5 amp Genius charger, which on top of being a normal battery charger also has a desulfate mode, which is supposed to bring dead and dying batteries back to life. So since I have a couple of batteries that need to be replaced, I figured I'd throw 50 bucks at trying this charger and see if I could get a little bit more life out of them. One of them is the battery out of my Audi here, which if you see the date sticker here, this battery is actually from June of 2017. So it's going on five years old. I haven't been driving the Audi, but the other day when I pulled this out of the car, it had less than two volts. Even plugged into a solar, I think 10 watt trickle charger that I have, this was still showing less than four volts. So for this battery, I've actually had it on my Harbor Freight charger for the last couple of days, just to charge it back up because the voltage was so low to start with. Right now, this is showing 12.8, 7, 12.88 volts, which is pretty good. Um, I haven't put it back in the car or anything like that, but before, whenever I would charge it back up, it would start the car, let it sit for a day or two, and then it would be basically completely dead again. So I want to run the repair mode on this battery, as well as quite a few others that I have sitting around. The battery for the S10 Blazer uh, is about a year and a half old, but it was just a cheapie. And unfortunately, it now will no longer start the car after it's been sitting for a day or two, and I've got to use the jump pack. So. These two batteries alone, if I can get a little bit more life out of them, I've saved about $150 right there. Like I said, the charger was about 50 bucks. A new battery for the Audi, even a cheap one is about 150. And then the one for the Blazer, uh, that one's about $55. So a lot more affordable, but still, if I can get more life out of them, since that one especially is only a year and a half old, that would be great. So I'm actually gonna read the instructions before I hook this up, but I'm gonna hook this one up on repair mode and let it run and see what happens. So I went and read the instructions just to make sure I'm doing this right. And it does say that you're supposed to have the battery charged up. So we're good to go there because like I said a minute ago, I have had this one on the charger for basically the last two days. So we'll go ahead and hook the NOCO up here. All right. Now I need to put this in repair mode. I guess it's press and hold. Press again. 12 volt repair. Okay. So the light's flashing. That should mean that the repair mode is running. Now it says to let this run for four hours and come back and check it. Judging by some of the reviews that I've read online for this charger and the fact that this battery is like five years old, I'm guessing I'm going to have to run this through the repair cycle a couple of times. But we'll let it go for a few hours and come back and check it. Okay, so the Audi battery just completed its third repair cycle. And uh, like I showed before, it was getting like 13.06 volts. Now it's gone up just a little bit higher, 13.18 volts. So at this point, I'll throw this back in the car and uh, put the Blazer battery on a recharge cycle. And we'll get that one started. Well, it's got enough voltage to set the alarm off. Okay, well that starts it up just fine now. So that's definitely an improvement over where it was because before, even after being on the battery charger, I couldn't even start the car without the jump pack on it. So, so we'll turn that back off and uh, come back and check this one in a day or two. 
All right, it's been another 24 hours, so let's check the Audi again here and see if it's still maintaining enough voltage to start. Everything lights up, so that's a positive sign. Sounds good. Sounds good, wow. So far, so good, so. For this battery that is, uh, what, going on five years old now, I'd say that the rejuvenator, desulfonator, whatever, uh, the NOCO Genius 5, definitely brought this battery back enough for me to uh, be able to start the car again, which is pretty amazing. So hopefully that'll last for a little while and uh, I won't have to spend $160 on a new battery for this. So we'll just have to see how it does on the Blazer battery. All right, so just to show you what the Blazer is doing here, you can see all of the lights are on. So the battery does have some power. I last drove this or started this about, uh, I don't know, three or four days ago. So it hasn't been too long, but everything comes on. Fuel pump sounds real weak. And that's what I get. It's been quite a while since I've been able to start this without the jump pack. So let's pull the battery out of this get it charged up and then once it's charged up I'll put it on the repair cycle and see if it works and like I mentioned before this battery is not terribly old 11 of 20 all right there's our next victim this one's been on the Harbor Freight charger for a while now let's just see how it tests first before we get started all right, 12.61 volts, if you can see that. So that should be good enough to run the repair cycle. Actually, let's throw some posts in there to do this. All right. All right, we'll see you in four hours. Well, this Blazer battery just finished its third repair cycle on the, uh, the NOCO was holding at uh, like 12.96 volts, according to my multimeter. So I'm gonna throw it back in here, assuming now that this should be good enough to start the car. And then uh, of course, we'll come back and check it again after about 24 hours. Whoops, that's good. That left a nice little uh, contact mark. Just weld a little bit of my wrench there. All right, that's good and secure. Sounds good. No problem at all. So everything seems good. I'll come back in 24 to 48 hours and check again. All right, it's been another 48 hours, so let's check the blazer again, see how the battery's holding up, see if it'll still start. That's a good sign. Moment of truth. Doesn't sound great, doesn't sound terrible. Oh yeah, it still starts. Very nice. So I'd definitely call that a success with this battery. Again, out of the batteries that I've tried to rejuvenate, this was the freshest or newest one um, with this battery being like 18 months or so old. So it really shouldn't have needed any of that in the first place. But so far, I'm very pleased with the results from the Genius Charger. All right, before we close this video out, I wanna come back and try this yet again. I'm not sure how long this has been sitting now. It's been at least four or five days since I started this. So we'll see how the battery's doing. Still maintaining enough of a charge to open the door and uh, for the lights to come on. Sounds positive, fans coming on. Yeah. All right, so, well, it's better than what it was before, but after sitting for several days here, 
not quite enough juice to kick it over. So let's, uh, let's go check on the Audi, which has been sitting even longer. And that was the battery that was even older to begin with. Jeez. Okay, for this one, like I said, this has been well over a week of sitting here not being driven. The light's still flashing there. Stuff still comes on, so that's a good sign, but doesn't mean it's going to be enough to kick it over. Wow, okay. So surprisingly, the battery that's even older and has sat for even longer without running actually maintained the charge. It could also be that I've got some kind of slow power drain in the Blazer. So I guess I'd call that at least one successful battery rejuvenation. The other one's definitely better than it was, but it's still not perfect. So I might pull it out and run it through a couple more repair cycles and see if that does anything else for me. Okay, so final verdict on the battery desulfonator. So in total, these four batteries plus the other two, the Blazer battery and the Audi battery, I all ran the same process on. Tried to charge them up as much as I could and then run them through the repair cycle a couple of times. So the Blazer, as I just showed you, improved but it's still not doing great the surprising result was the Audi. now that was a more premium battery to begin with but it is also much older than the one that's in the blazer and that still starts up and runs after sitting for over a week after running through i think it was three repair cycles on that battery so that's definitely a success i'm also going to call the blazer a success i think i might have a small power draw drain somewhere it's helping to kill that battery but again it's definitely better than it was before i ran it through the repair cycle these four batteries all of these i'm going to say are definitely a fail the other car battery here this one is from may of 2013 so it's pretty ancient that's over or that's almost exactly eight years old now so didn't really have any expectations for that one it was basically at zero voltage or close to it and even after charging it a whole bunch or trying to charge it a whole bunch and then running it through the repair cycle several times, it's still totally dead, got nothing. These other batteries here, the, the other two are wet lead acid batteries. These I got a little bit of voltage into. I ran them through the repair cycle a couple of times. They improved a little bit, but still not enough to start anything. They're not close to 12 volts again. So those are fails. And this AGM battery, which you're not supposed to run the repair cycle on an AGM battery according to the instructions from Norco or NOCO. But I tried it anyway, no luck. Um, so all of these, these are shot. These are gonna go to the recyclers. Um, but two out of six batteries, I was able to improve at least somewhat, if not completely, running them through the repair cycle. So those are the results for you. If you want to give that a shot, it might be a good way to prolong your battery life if it's starting to get old. Also, if you have a battery that's just dead or just far enough gone, you might be able to bring it back. Anything that's terribly ancient or totally destroyed, basically, then you're probably not going to have any luck. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the NOCO Genius Charger. I definitely think it was worth the money for my results, but don't expect miracles. It's not going to bring back totally dead batteries and keep them going forever. So I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching till the end here. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that thumbs up and like this video if you did. Leave me a comment down below if you've got something to add, and I will see you next time.